Hi, welcome again for a new video of uh, this mini blog tutorial series. And what we are going to do? We are going to turn this more modular, add new components that's going to be the base. For example, this is our Django blog right now. Okay, and what have I done? So I copy here and I add here. So what I have done here, I add some styles that. Uh, uh, are going to be used in our project. So as you can see, these uh, are the styles that I have used. Here, I'm not coding the styles alongs because I think it's not important for <clears throat> to learn the Django. And if you want to really know and learn about CSS and styles, I have other videos which are better than this one. But for now, follow this. So here in home.html, let's add some styling. So here, I know that my class uh, is going to be class equal to nav left. And uh, in uh, this one, we are going to put class equal to nav right. So just to style this matter. And yeah. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to explain the difference between, okay, I have, for example, a nav bar here and a footer. But imagine that I want to, for example, I have a new H1, something. And I refresh this and I have something here. Okay, imagine here that I have like the home page. And here I have contact page and all that information. So imagine our work we have to do on the match code repetition if you would like to repeat the nav code in every HTML document. It will be like a mess. So we don't like this. Fortunately, Django provides us with an easy and uh, nicely way to, mo to turn the HTML code more modular. Uh, let's do this. We are going to create the base.html. This is where all our HTML is going to be. Let's copy this on here. And uh, what you want here? We have uh, this, which is good. And uh, now, what we will do for the page, we will have like a nav bar here and all our components and all our uh, content below. So, to do this, instead of adding it and uh, h1, we're going to add a div that we can call, we can call uh, not a div, but let's make it like a main component. I think it's better for displaying the main information. And we are going to use another Django template. It's going to be that one. It's going to be block. And I think we can use not Yes, this one is going to be block content. And uh, what is saying? So inside our main, we will wrap here in uh, from the other HTML page, all the content that uh, we want to display. So each time that we are in uh, the home HTML page, we are going to extend this code and uh, inside these codes, we are going to wrap the new code that we are going to write. For example, let's start uh, like this, but let's do that later. So, but we are going to add all these codes inside here. So every time we change the page, we have different information here, but always the same information here. And uh, better than talking, it's doing so let's do this so to do this we have to extend and we have to extend our base.html uh, page again how i am i doing uh, these tags these tags it's with uh, the django extension it puts like your code more beautiful and do like that easy snippets that you can uh, do like i did now so Okay, so here let's 
add a div and uh, this div is going to be uh, it's going to be class and container so notice it's going to be posts container and uh, let's just see the h2 posts so for add information to be wrapped inside uh, here what you have to do is we have to state that this is a block content so we do again block in block and uh, here we say content we wrap this inside and there is so all the information the content will be placed inside here but let's make a refresh to see where we are now and there it is so we are uh, displaying in the views only the home HTML but Lauren 14 but here we are retrieving the page that we are in. so we don't have we don't have the code for the navbar but since we are extending the base.html all our content is displayed here and it's actually it's very good and it's very practical so now we don't have to care about uh, the navs the django and the, the style that you put here you can like even style this and uh, our, our further page will have the same display so in that way our templates are much more modular and nicely present so for example the next things that we are going to do is to add a new html page and we are going to do all the times the same we are going to extend the base.html and uh, let's do this for a page that we are going to need in the future so it's going to be post detail.html and we are going to extend the base and uh, here you well, like we are like for example post detail so in the post detail we have the same thing so imagine now a better refresh let's play this but after we are going to have a new view name post detail and it's going to render the new information view which should we display okay like checking everything it's good okay and uh, after refreshing we have like the posts detail but let's go back to what we were and uh, yeah that's it this is the improved version and uh, the way that i wanted to use now the templates in uh, Django, you always create the base dot html and you extend to the other ones so for now that's it so everything it's set so if you like this video put a like share and subscribe and see you in the next one